in this segment of this video we are going to talk how you can edit the flow so the flow we created will edit that and see that how we can create dynamic titles and messages using our created flow so let me share my screen and this is the flow which we created in last video so let me add it and we'll click on edit and now you can see this is the flow like when a new response is submitted using support form get detail get response detail we'll get response detail from this support form then create a task then we'll post a message the best thing is you can also add new step like you want to add new step here you can add and you can select the the applications or template you want to use here so that is what you can do but right now we are not going to do that so i will just remove it but we will see that what we are getting here we have a support form again we have support form and response id we are getting then we'll go here demo plan new task title so let me see that what we can do here so i am going to use uh, here issue detail i will use as a uh, issue so as we are mentioning this the thing we need to do is we'll go here in issue and make it required because if you are using this value here and you are not going to you are not making it required you might can face problem because because someone will submit that form and someone will submit that form and the detail will be and this field will be blank so in that case you might can face problem and that's why i made it required so you can see we have new task for support issue and then issue detail then we have the bucket id in which i uh, in which bucket you are going to create that is to do we can use the start date so we'll use the submission date again we'll use uh, here due date should be also submission date and from here you can assign user id so what we can do is we can select the email address our response id the contact number so the best thing is if you have the email id and something like that in a form that is what you can use uh, to assign a paper we can also go here and select expression so we might can use a person from your organization and that is what you can use that is what you can do using expression so i'm not going in technical details you might can uh, face issue in that case so we'll leave that blank for now and then we'll go in task creation here again we'll have the we have team general and here we can see what we can add again we'll try to add the created by planner so we'll have the plan name so task title we can add and then we can add the the title we have created by so that is what we have task title we can use we can also use the bucket id if we can add i'm going to add the bucket id and then plan id so everything is there so i'm just going to use that and now i will save this so this is saved now i will again go back so this is how you can edit and save it you can also save from here so it's saving saved and you can use your flow checker and you can also test it so if you want to check your flow you will click here and see that how many errors you have how many warnings you have we have zero error and zero warning you can also test from here it will take a little bit time submit a new response to select a form trigger so i'm going to test so let me submit a response demo and then i will have a product then i have my name sandeep and the content number it doesn't matter because we are not using somewhere 
sandeep and again i'm going to use email.com and then i will have uh, issue detail so we found issue in your product one it's not working as per manual so that is what you can do and then you can submit so let's go there and see so it's running and successful so again you can go here and see uh, a new task created new support as issue found and it is not working as per manual this is what dynamic is coming so i think it's getting the plan id and id id whatever we added that's why it's coming so we need to change id to the title so we can see again we'll go in the planner and here we can see the new task is created and that should be you can see to do new task support issue and this and that and also we have some more details like start date due date so that is what you can have here so isn't it awesome that you just submitted a form whatever you written in that form you created a task using that new support task you found issue in your product it's not working as per user manual and that is what you can see the support we found is in your product and it will not work in as per your user manual so this is how you can automate your support using power automate you can edit you can test the flow and you can also check the errors you can see uh, like 28 days run history you can see here you can uh, if any error is coming you can also go in detail and you the error will be listed over there so this is how you can create a flow you can run the flow you can customize the flow inputs that what inputs you want in that particular flow how you can create dynamic titles and content using your flow and you can also add it you can check the flow and you can test using your test application so this is what i have using a template you can create a flow in next video we'll, we'll see that how you can create your own flow using microsoft flow creator